Hello, and welcome to another Near Running Cast. As always, my name is Jono, and I'm joined once again by Joey. How's it going, Joey? Not too bad. Uh, so, we had the final game from Edinburgh Sad Times, and in this final round of Swiss, we're going to see on the left hand side Team London's David Sayer, and on the right hand side, uh, Team Newcastle's Chris Price. And David's playing Kate, which we'll talk about a bit, because this is quite an interesting deck. And Chris is playing RP, which we'll talk about a little bit, but it's RP. Um, it's worth mentioning that this is uh, from the four man team. Uh, tourney that took place in Edinburgh. Last round. Uh, yeah, this is the last round. And um, I think this is a fairly. They do quite well on the day, I think. This was like a top table ish on, in his top, pod. This was top table for his pod, yeah. Yeah. Um, the. Uh, well, we'll talk a bit, a bit about how the results went, I guess, another time. But uh, it's all to play for, I guess. It was a weird format because there was no. It was combined Swiss. So you only did well yeah, if I your think teammates did London, well. London, Edinburgh, Newcastle. There was a few. Was like yeah, that's true. Teams, going to the last round, could yeah. Win going into the last round, which was so I think was it, I think Edinburgh were leading at this point. Newcastle, I think maybe in London were close. I don't remember really. Is anyway, yeah, something like it was, that. It was close. Yeah. Okay, so um, RP does. Uh, it's also nice. Takes credit. Yep. Yeah. And uh, Kate and all the country of an SMC. Not too weird. But um, you can see a sun juice. So, so this poor, this poor unsuspecting victim doesn't know what they play. Yeah. We. As local to Dave, yeah, know what he's playing, and it's been really interesting as Dave's been working on this deck for months and months and months, watching everyone come up with their strategies to beat it. Well, we all, cards we all have a kind of decent idea on what his weaknesses are now. So, yeah, although he's, not, yeah. he's adapted it to those weaknesses as well, very interestingly. Yeah. So, and so we've probably got. To, I mean, if you're playing ETF, we're probably scraping at fifty-fifty beating it now only because we've, we've thought really hard of how yeah. the hell do we beat <laughs> yeah, this deck yeah. but it has against, a bad ETF matchup against, now I think. Yeah. Assume, against a player who knows how to yeah. beat it and uh, if against. anyone does play Dave always fire ABT always fire ABT you want res dice on R&D and HQ you want a uh, yeah, you, you want, want Chris you want HQ that'd be good yeah. probably a Caprice on R&D is really good yeah yeah. Yeah. You need res dice first. You need res dice on on R and D. Then you need to protect each. It's it's it's. Or nice. you win fast. What you don't want to do. Yeah. Or you is astro. Play as RP where you dirtle and <laughs> it takes you a long time to get. Set if up. you're playing any age, install anything behind a piece of ice and he won't run it. Yeah. That's fine. It's true. Um, Although he does check for Jacksons and for CVS. Fun fact. Yes, he, he does. does. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So anyway. Um, he still isn't. He's, the thing is, because this is a uh, someone who doesn't know what's going on. He wants to hide what he's he doing does, for as long as possible. He does actually play very interesting because he ha he he withholds key cards, key cards as long yeah. as possible. So, so the yeah. only the only clue we've had so far is he installed an all nighter. Yeah, that's, that's an interesting right. card. And Weird. even Chris even was like, oh, when he installed it, he made this. Wow, that's interesting. So that on its own isn't enough to you. Think, like, oh, oh crazy. well, whatever. He's got a spare click, maybe I don't know. And then about halfway through the game, you realise when you play it for the first time, Something he's doing something. Here. He's seriously <laughs> going for a big combo. Yeah. It's a big combo. But you don't know what's going to happen. So you don't know how to protect, or what to protect, or what to expect. That's a second all night. And then oh, this is weird. He often he often waits until the, we're going to call it the turn. There's there's a turn. There's that's a turn. pretty obvious. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, uh, you know it's happening. To actually install a lot of the really important pieces. Whereas I like to do it the turn before because I play with he's his got, deck. He's got he's got spare time. Oh okay. I, I like I like to do it the turn before to hmm. have all the clicks in the world. You know? But then your opponent knows what's happening. Maybe yeah, they know the turn's late. coming. That's yeah. Too late. It's already too late. Okay. Um, sure. So um, Dave's pretty content to money up. The thing about this deck is it does require a little bit of money yeah. to set up. So, and there is an element of playing technical, slow. Technical right rally, uh, meanwhile, on the other side of the table, um, RP has a Sunju that's entirely untested um, and he's, an he's, advanced card. Yeah, he's done really well to do that. I think if he's going to score, that's his only chance is to is to try and score because most RP players will be going, oh, that's interesting. So this card's I'll keep building up. This card's actually. Um, Double advanced. Yeah. So, uh, future perfect. It's possible. I'm assuming that's a Caprice next to it. Could be a GFI um, in more recent. This is obviously post date from Destiny. Uh, more recent builds. There's a chance he's the the Dave's opponent, Chris, had seen what Dave had been doing earlier in the day and has decided to go fast. Because most uh, RP players won't start scoring as early as this. But sure. Clearly, he's like. I, I, I um, so actually, he had not seen this deck before. This ah, this genuinely this became not. obvious. Yeah. <laughs> when he asked what the hell was going on. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, Dave's continuing to draw a lot of cards. Well he's got more Chris economy. Trying to score anyway, because yeah. he's going to score that agenda. Yeah, he, yeah, he won't get checked. <laughs> he, won't, he absolutely won't get checked. Because one of the worst things for Dave is any ice raised on centrals, and that's just, yeah. just bad. Well, it's not, yeah. 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 Okay. 
So, also, God forbid it trashes programs or something. I don't know. It's it, yeah. He he is not going to run with his eyes. There's only one card that will allow him to run it, and he probably won't want to waste it. So uh, this turn, he's um, quality times and installed daily cast. So he's going to take credits. He's going to throw away employee strike. That's a very interesting RP call. Um, I know he put that in in case of RP. He's not tempted no, no, to play. Not RP. Harp. <laughs> oh Harp, Yeah. Oh right. Obviously. Um, yeah. yeah, okay. That's the only reason, literally, it's in there for Harp. Yeah. Um, so it's not Harp, so bin it. Um, also, there's a false echo in the bin. That's an interesting, that's an interesting uh, program, so including the deck, yeah. Jerry. So you, you didn't take a good look <laughs> at false echo. So you, this is where, if you're playing, say, Ian Reid. Now, Ian Reid, he'd is a say, player. what did you discard? What did you discard? And he'll look at it, and he'll sit there, and he'll work out your deck from yeah, card why, for card. Why is that in your deck? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. he does that, and, he, and so I, I, I came up with a theory yesterday in working that the way to beat. Ian Reid is Put to build 46 card decks <laughs> and then just three random cards that are legal <laughs> okay. and then he'll pick them and he'll start making combos like, in his head this? Yeah. yeah okay uh, but you should, you should if he'd have read that card he would have started to have an idea for what is going to happen but to him uh, Chris, Chris was too excited he scored his GFI and why wouldn't you yeah. I mean he's now three points oh, up and this is, shape of this is fine no one plays in I mean he, he must have he must be on top table because of his corp right he must have just you know he must have carried him this, this weird shape of janks I don't know what's going on. So uh, what anyway, does Forsaker do anyway? Um, well, self modern fine code installed a uh, Leprechaun. And yeah. onto that Leprechaun, we're going to see a Hyperdriver. Yeah. That's a little weird. And I go to the All-Nighters. That's good. We've got a click. Oh, a second, a second Hyperdriver. Okay. Oh, this when is there's weird. one, there's three. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, False Echo. Um, when you pass a piece of ice with False Echo, um, you can trash False Echo to force the corp to pick it up. It has to be unresed, mind. Yeah. You pass so, an unresed piece of ice, you trash False Echo to pick it yeah. up. Really rubbish. That's fine. I mean, you just res the ice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Combos really well with a card that came out recently. Yeah. Yeah. Which yes, we might is. see. Uh, I don't know. But we actually, you know, do we, um, do we see that the combo happen in this game? Yeah. Yeah. We do. That's one of the reasons I picked it. <laughs> no, no. But like, do we actually see the full second part happening? Oh, um, I don't remember. Yeah. I yeah. think we do. I think. Yeah. I think we do. Check, check the ice. Not relevant. So hyperdriver is installed now out in the open. So that's that's full memory. And Chris. Exclaves, you know, three hub drives. What's going on? Uh, yeah, this is weird. Uh, we've just got a second install in that remote, not advanced. So I guess there's two possibilities here. It's not yeah, well, well, it it's could, not score it, it yeah. could be like a philotic or One something. Philotic. It's not very likely. Um, more likely, it's an ash, I guess, or a CVS or something. Yeah. Never know. Yeah, it's Batty something. Some some caprice. Some okay, so let's see. Let's have a quick recap of what's going on on Dave's side of the board here. He's got three hyperdrives and yeah. two all nighters. Um, that's a lot of sunk clicks that he can, you know, call yeah. to mind that's at any time. Going. See, see, this is the thing with uh, he now can't install all the things he needs no. until the turn he pops his hyperdrives because he's back. He's out there. That's true. He didn't, so that's, he didn't get a second leprechaun, which is yeah. is pretty but useful. D Dave, he often does that and is fine with that. I said, I, I, there's something about my when I play this deck, it's like I want you can have 16 click or 20 whatever it is. I'm yeah, like, I want, want the four. maximum number. Number of clicks on the he team knows, yeah. He knows. But he's much better at this. He's yeah. a master of this deck, totally and he's refined it. And it's. I just. I just think it's such a great deck. It's. People will say it's un, um, interactive. But okay, so we've got an install and an advance in the remote. Now it's one advance. So is that a Nisei? Yeah. Because that's pretty bad. Oh well, no. Well, well it depends, depends which what, one. Yeah, yeah. Depends <laughs> which one yeah, yeah. Yeah. You've got to play uh, around it a little bit. Well, no, because the. So one of the cards that Dave has in his deck is an Esha. Okay. And he needs an Escher yes. if Ice gets rest. So that would and be it would bad. be bad for Nisei. But it's it's RP, so there's no way Ice is going to get rest. Yeah, okay. Um, that, and, and a Nisei counter is very problematic if you're playing against someone with ABTs because they have rest something, but that can't happen because it's a Nisei and ABTs. Right, so. it's happening. Yeah. Start of turn. Three Hypers got trashed. Um, so he has oh, he's 13 really clicks. Early. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, my my experience playing against Dave is that he normally uh, fires his mega turn when they're about, he, to win. they're about to win. So if he was on five points and had an advanced card uh, on the remote, maybe then. But maybe he thinks he can take that one as well. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, he has to be. So we're not going to see. We're not going to see the combo. Ah, so that's why I remember why he went. Because he so we're getting mean. two all nighters as well. Yeah. Okay. So uh, he has fifteen clicks total, basically net. Fifteen remaining. He actually had seventeen, but spent two. But whatever. Um, so, um, what do you do with all these clicks? <laughs> well, click one, you install DDoS. Click one, you install DDoS, yes. Because then you can't raise any of his ice. Yeah. Click two, oh, medium. Oh, That's a good card. And uh, one other yeah. card. And, oh, and Keel. Oh. oh, these are all good cards. Okay. And the sounds we're making, they're pretty much the sounds that Chris is making, but in a much more dejected way. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. now he's DDoS. Real. DDoS. Okay, oh. all right. Okay. 
So it's happening, yeah. All right. So for those who haven't seen this before, if you stack ice on R and D, DDoS and full seco allows you to fire yes. full seco, and then DDoS works on the next piece, and then you full seco, and then DDoS works on the next piece, and you can full seco your yeah, whole way. Yeah, you can way full in. seco go through, and so you can have a couple. You have clone chips back. You can back. six yeah. pieces of ice yeah. and still not res the last one. So you need to go eight deep yeah. before he even has to worry about. You just need something rest, anything, something. Yeah. That he's actually got a break. Yeah. Um, all right, so he's going to aggressively keyhole. He trusts Toby first and the celebrity gift. Um, and he's getting medium counters. And he's getting when medium keyhole, counters, you yeah. always get medium counters. So. Do, you, um, do you trash genders or not? Now, I know Dave, so he goes back and forth on this, I think, a little bit. It depends who you're playing against. I think against RP, you do. CBS. You CBS. First is priority. Yeah. First yeah. priority. That's the only thing you actually want to trash. Uh, CBS, Snares, and Archangel are top priority. Things you don't want to access during a, an actual During an actual run, run, yeah. Because eventually, when you've got five or six counters, you start using medium to access loads of cards and then you keyhole to shuffle it yeah. and then you medium again yeah, and yeah. you're going to see a whole start variety of stuff um, yeah. we're going to start seeing oscillation yeah. between the two so the reason this is a bad matchup for Dave is because RP has some of the harder agendas to steal so um, we had so just to summarise uh, Dave has 8 clicks remaining so so yeah so he's quite low out of the maximum number of 18 clicks he actually only yeah. gets to run maybe 12 13 times in this yeah he, he has to install a few things he's going to use technical writer um maybe to worry about side games that's a legitimate worry there's gonna be future perfects that kind of thing um so he doesn't want to be able to get taxed out so um it's seven clicks remaining he's actually going to leg work so he hasn't he possibly hasn't seen any agendas so he's worried that um yeah, the corpse bit flooded he's just kind of walking out agendas uh, he might consider trashing Jackson, but doesn't. Sees a Surugi and a Future Perfect, so we will play Um <laughs> This is so he's not flooded. The roll of the dice, right? Because yeah. it's money, money not important. Yeah. So he's not flooded. Two. Bet two, uh, Dave. Bet two. Bet two. Bet two. I feel like the corpse going to bet two because they're waiting yeah. for the money, but uh, yeah. So you maybe bet the corpse bets one, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> two is what you do when you don't want to. Yeah. Uh, you bet two and zero. Joey, right? you're wrong. Yeah. Uh, you got confused. You see this. It works against you know people in your own meta. You come against these out towners. Yeah. Maybe the rule in Newcastle has always bid zero. I don't know. It could be anything, right? Or <laughs> well, it's not. It's never bid zero, which is why I bid zero. I it's it's a flux thing. It's, there's the own meta of Netrunner just for side games. The so side game meta. He trashed. Uh, he keyed again. Trashed Celebrity Gift, so he can um, maybe do a normal run on R and D now. He's got five counters, so, so it, he's will, only got five it will be six. Because I'm. He's got, got to, five clicks remaining. Because if he's, I don't know if he's running Nostrariety. He must be running Nostrariety at this point. So he's to. So he's a normal medium run. So he's going to see six cards. He's going to see some, another side game. Hmm. Okay. So he's going to have to win some side games if he's going to get any genders. He also hasn't got any yet, which is yeah. Quite sad. He's just got yeah. But he, if he's got Nostrariety in hand, he can check that one. Check the right one. Which is something. Yes, he can. I think that this was pre Nostrariety. Uh, I think he might. <laughs> I think you might even put Not pre it in. coming out. Uh, uh, sorry, yeah, yeah pre well, him considering I, I, it for this deck. Because the first thing I tweet when I use this deck, because I put three right. notoriety in. It's good. Um, it's, 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 he, he, yeah, because you've got the spare clicks to run. Yeah, because you get to six and then you're just like, that, yeah. done. So, um, no, he saw the future perfect, he could not steal it. I think he hold it Do you run now. again? No, not really. So he's going to trash. So he can choose any of Celebrity Gift, Future Perfect, or a Mystery Card. He chose the uh, Future Perfect. Not That's too surprising. Yeah, well, I suppose... Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So this, this isn't going well no, for him. No, it's going badly. It's, this, I mean, he's seen six points worth of agendas, though. So yeah, he hasn't if this was them. a different... He's also got this thing in a remote. He can probably run out. He can once. challenge. It's probably got a Caprice uh, next to it. If not Nash. If there's Nash, he's kind of boned. Two flicks left. Yeah, only got two clicks left. So let's see, he's got eight counters on medium by the look of it. Um, so he could. I think maybe what you do here is you medium run. There's nothing in the bin though. So maybe no, maybe you keyhole. Future perfect. It's future perfect. So maybe you keyhole once and then run, the run R&D. I think you keyhole. No, you right? medium run the bin because you're more likely to score from the eight. But I think you, I think you keyhole and then run again. I think you just keyhole and run to access the most number of cards you can this turn right, right yeah. maybe because yeah. if you medium and then do something else you're accessing more fuel I don't know you get the future perfect but you won't necessarily steal it yeah you're right key holding first um, so instead does medium but if he doesn't win now he's going to have one click left it's going to be awkward maybe you trash Caprice he can kill that of course so he does steal a Nisei okay you got an agenda yes come on Dave 
It's going to see a bunch of cards we can't see. Draw screen. But so, uh, there's I mean, three points in the bin. There's probably two in the remote. One click. Do you check the remote? It's got one click. Uh, it's got, so RP only, only has to weather one more click without being able to rest. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's got two DDoS in the deck, so... Can you imagine how crazy this deck would be if you were doing this without Leela or something? It would be amazing, and you're bouncing all this stuff. <laughs> it would just be so annoying. All right, it's going to run again for effectively two new cards. Should trash the Caprice first. Though. Should trash the Caprice if he's going to run again, yep. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to see two new cards. Um, but we don't know what they are. Because the way he's holding them up. So we've got nothing. So we've got two points out of his turn. Oh, Dave... Oh, sad times. He obviously really... The reason he went so early is I think he really didn't want the Nisei counter to be got for some reason. Yeah, maybe that Probably is it. Probably stopped the legwork. Yeah. Um, it was, if, yeah, I mean, the legwork was... So the thing is with Dave's deck now is like, we can talk about it because he, he's going to really struggle now, right? Because yeah. he, he doesn't really plan on breaking He has no rig. Nice. Um, so, right, here's the thing. As the corp, do you score that Nisei? Or, or do, do you purge? purge? <laughs> Uh, oh, he's got another DDoS! Whee! He gets two more clicks. Yeah, I knew he had two DDoSs. So. Dave's still alive. Hooray! So he can, he can medium run, keyhole, medium... No, yeah. I me think keyhole, medium, medium keyhole, medium, right? Keyhole, you medium. get max maximum. No, no, but he's got his sword, the DDoS, so he needs three clicks. Oh, okay. And, so there's, an, and there's a Nisei. Yeah, keyhole. And Nisei's going to come out if you try medium for ten. So I think you I think you medium on click three. And if he gets Nisei, you medium again. And if it doesn't, you... Do some check out cards. Yeah, so he's going to medium, medium. Yeah, now. I think he medium. If he doesn't, then he can run the bin and try and play side yeah. game for the game. So he's going to medium. So he's going to access um, 12 cards. He's going to see a bunch of cards that we can't see <laughs> because of the way Chris kept holding them. Um, but he is going to see Wait an NAPD. Yeah, losing on one okay. credit, not good yeah. for side games. Yeah. Um, He's also going to see a Nisei. Ooh. Sharp and take a breath. Okay. So he's, so he's going to access one more card. No good, I'm afraid. Uh, so I was there. I think he might have so accessed another one... NAPD. He couldn't steal. Oh, yeah? I don't know. I couldn't I tell. So I, I'm having flashbacks. There was... Because okay. obviously he's on one credit. So... So, so now I'll purge out. Um... So no, he's got one click left. So he he took two because he forgot to take his daily cost money, right? Um, which will help side games, uh, although it will not help for any pity. Um, yeah, I think you play the side game now. I mean, one here's the thing, win. right? So you because um, he'll he, say something. He'll, 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 basically, he's gonna if you run, he's gonna say right? Yeah. But maybe you run R and D. Maybe you run R and D because you get three accesses. Because you stole two cards, so and if, even if there's an NPD in there, you might see another Nisei. Well, it's just interesting. He might not Nisei to play the thing side is, game. All three Niseis are out, so there's a GFI. Let's assume there's at least one more GFI. Apart from that, it's probably future perfect. No, there's probably one GFI. You think only one GFI yeah. to make up the numbers? Three, three future perfect, one GFI. That's twelve. Um, three, uh, three Nisei, Nisei and then one and NPD. Or it's NPD. Oh no, it's NPD. So yeah. it's NPD. So one NPD, two. So because you, you run three future. So perfect, you think right? there's only future perfects left? Maybe there's GFIs instead of future perfect. Yeah, I think you run the. Probably not. You, yeah, you run the bin for the side game. Whatever. Okay. Uh, there's one Nisei. Uh, anyway, no, he ran HQ, and he's an Nisei counter. So yeah. Now we know there's that's interesting. He ran hand. HQ. Yeah. Uh, there is future perfect in hand. Yeah. Maybe there's more. That's, that's it. He can count the points. That's it. That's all of them. One, two, three. Oh, so he thinks there's nothing in the bin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so eight, nine, got, ten, eleven, yeah, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eleven on the table. 15, 16, 17, 14. No, there is three more points. There's three more points unaccounted for, so it must be another future perfect in R&D, probably. Yeah. Okay. All right. So he purged. No, no, yeah, it seems strong. It's the one we saw in HQ, right? He's got one in HQ. There's one in the bin. There must be another one, right? Right. Oh, right. Where there's no scored. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that's in R&D, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. literally the deck. Wow. So yes, yeah, so there'd be one more in R&D, probably. So HQ seems. Pretty strong. Um, anyway, there was an Nisei counter then Chris purged. Seems reasonable. Yeah, if he's got an agenda, he might put it in next turn. Which he has. And um, so what does Dave do here? He's got a keyhole. I mean, maybe a keyhole anyway. Just keyhole making res. Run the remote making res. I run mean, the bin making res. He, and hope he... He might have a breaker. I mean, I don't know. I think he has like a... I think he, he had one Crypsis. Or yeah. a or some, some <laughs> one of Crypsis. No, but I think you're right. You can tax him out. Because if he... You know there's an agenda in the hand. So he takes four credits. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Because yeah, because you run the hand, he has to res. You keyhole, he has to res. You run the, well no key because there's no agendas left. Uh, and then you run the bin to try and play side games. Yeah. Make him res. 
Um, he makes very poor. Oh, and this is a crick, and then he installs it. So we get an install, two installs, one in a new remote, one in the second remote, and a hedge fund um, from RP. Jackson. Jackson is pretty reasonable. There's yeah. In the bin. yeah, that's pretty reasonable. Um, Dave just continuing to take four credits. So he's building up. He's building up something. He actually has no cards in hand at this point. Um, but he does have um, a clone chip. So I guess he could fetch something out of the bin. There's an SMC in there as well. So There's an SMC. Anything, yeah. 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 Um, and we've got an, an, an install and a double advance in the remotes. There were actually three cards in this remote, I think. Yeah. Um, and that's probably... It doesn't matter what it is. I mean, it's probably a future... Well, it must be future perfect, right? We saw it in his hand. Yeah. Let's assume that's what it is. Um, if you're Dave, you... I mean, it's on the table, so if you can find a way seen, to get it... Yeah, he, so he saw... He saw I so can't he, believe he's on six points. He's seen two he clone perfects. chips. Yeah, he clone chips for an SMC uh, during the corpse turn. So he can use it this turn with the cake discount. So, um... you got four clicks. What do you do? Do you keyhole? I mean, you're not going to tax him out of... Money. No, no, no. Because like I said, with this three future perfects left, like, you've got to... You've got to find a future perfect and win a side game, or you've got to get into that remote and win a side game twice because you've got trash and ash. So SMC is going to install whatever break you need to break the thing that he reses wherever you run. So he's going to run archives. That's got to be worst case because you don't want to... I mean... Or at least it doesn't end the run, right? It doesn't end the run, but it does move stuff out, like caprices and stuff. Yeah, aren't but he can't put the... But he's putting agenda in the bin, so, agenda in the remote, so he can't put the agenda in the remote. <laughs> So we can't do that to the agenda. Um, that's true. Yeah. yeah, you're right. If there's Jackson, it doesn't matter though, right? So sure, there's Jackson. Uh, yeah. yeah. So he can install uh, whatever a Sunju or a Ash or something. I don't know what's in the bin. Um, CVS seems like a good shout. <laughs> if it comes to it, there might be an R&D run at some point. Yeah. So it's a tough decision. Um, I mean, so I think the decision here is yeah, that. Yeah, that's. I can hear. I did, you know what you said about this is me speaking and watching yeah, at this point. Yeah. The, talking about the ruling of installing ice over Crick. Uh, yes, yeah. So Crick can install ice, but it can't install ice that you have to encounter. Uh, not, Unless not, there's not, unrest not, ice behind yeah, it. Not in this scenario, yeah. Um, it also can't install Caprice at this point, it's too late. It can install an ash. Uh, instead, it installs a piece of ice, a mystery piece of ice on the remote. Okay. Yeah, that's probably a good yeah, idea. Yeah, why not? Yeah. yeah. That's, cause that's where in the case game there's is some here. weird DDoS stuff, or who knows who knows what's going on, right? Well, he's um, got an SMC so he's going to access the uh, Future Perfect, except he's not, because uh, Jackson is a card. So he's going to pull that Future Perfect and two other cards, but who cares? Toll booth, yeah, can't trash that. And Lotus Field, yeah, can't trash that. So, sure, that's just stuff in case an R&D run happens, I guess. So we've got three clicks remaining. Do you press the remote? Make him spend some money? You don't really. I mean, you can hopefully bounce off wherever there is. Hope, just, hope it just depends, doesn't hurt it depends, you. It depends a bit on the breaker that he's got in the deck. I mean, um, if there's like an Eli or something, you just let him res it and bounce off it. It could be a toll booth or something. You can, I mean, you lose some money, but just to make him spend some money. Yeah, but you're not going to get no, you're not gonna three. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to tax Unless him Unless he has to... Yeah. Do an ash trace and a caprice and first eye game. You need to break. Uh, so you're gonna break. You're gonna run R and D, right? Is that your best bet? Because there's almost certainly no future perfect in hand now. There's presumably one in the bin. Presumably there are two in R and D. So that's the odds you're going for. Right? So you're resident Yagura. Uh, it's quite an interesting scenario. So it has two subs, one of which involves possibly moving away the top card of R and D. So you kind of want to break it. The other one does one net damage, and Dave has no cards in hand. So you so have to, have to break it. it. So he does have to break it. So he SMCs for a Crypsis. Pays a one. single use Crypsis. Pay, Just pay. to stop himself from dying. Four, yeah, he pays four. No, he breaks both. Oh, why do you give him a Parasite in the deck? He breaks both. He's got enough. It might be a side game, but it's not. No. Sad times. Sad times, Dave. He's got Dave. one left, and he can't even run in through the uh, no, that was, it dies. That was click four. That was click four. So he, because uh, he took two credits. Which he had to. He didn't know what it was. It could be, it could be a, something yeah, hard to break. It could be a toll booth or something, right? So, the whole end yeah. of this game, though, was like, as they know, you make, you make, you, he wins that turn. He's not meant to go past that turn. So yeah, that's it. You're game, supposed to win. Yeah, you build up. Normally, you get a 13 click turn. Yeah. So. um what was his downfall? I feel like he went Slime off at an appropriate games. time, but future perfect, right? I think right? he should have gone a bit later. You could have waited? Yeah. He's right, about, he's right about Nisa Camps. But, yeah, but, but why go any later? He had all the pieces. He had Keyhole. He had DDoS. In two. his hand. He had... Me oh, you think he just installs everything? Yeah. Sure. That turn, he could have... He hadn't clicked... He hadn't clicked... Um, 
he needed to click technical writer drawing his turn. There was a false echo in the bin, so he could clone ship yeah. once. Yeah, because yeah. uh, he had a he could, have, he could have taken money, installed the DDoS, um, and given himself like two more clicks during that turn. Yeah, he could. So he could have installed DDoS and um, got some more money. Like, because he had the thing is, he was out memory, writer. so he yeah. couldn't install programs. Yeah. So he couldn't install keyhole or medium. Yeah. Um, but he could. Yeah, he could have installed DDoS and taken three credits or something. And a kick technical writer or something. Yeah, yeah, um, okay, maybe. Yeah, but uh, as it gone, I mean, he also could have challenged the remote um, to steal the Nisei. Um, yeah, maybe he could have. It almost at said least Caprice, one, he could, at least he could force one some side games. Yeah. yeah, at least one click to see whether it's Nash or Caprice. Because if it's Nash, you're like, great, trash one again, take yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Caprice, I think you're like, two, like, might have only been one upgrade at that There's one upgrade at that point. And well, I mean, CBS like, though. Disaster, right? <laughs> you check it early. You check yeah, it okay, first. Yeah, okay, yeah, so. okay. Yeah, fair. Okay. Um, so, anyway, the upshot of that was um, Newcastle won. Hey. Newcastle won on the day. So, we saw um, we saw three Newcastle victories in the last three videos because we saw Chris win twice against Dave. Yeah. Sorry, 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 Dave. <laughs> sorry about that. The order shot curse lives on. And uh, Tom, in the previous, in the third video. Uh, Has order shot never won a game so, on, on the No, they have, yeah, they have. No. They I, have I've made sure because I also made them play each other on camera to guarantee. To guarantee a win. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't a time to draw. One game uh, time Yeah, draw I don't know if I'm, I think I'm yet to uh, publish a video in which all shots won though. So okay. uh, maybe I won't. Yeah, maybe I'll never do that. It'll be yeah. funny. <laughs> just make them sponsor a video otherwise they're not getting one. Ah, yeah, it's good. Uh, um, yeah, so Newcastle won. Uh, we should give um, a shout out to uh, the, the lovely organisers, including uh, Pete um, and Evan, who ran the tournament on the day. Seamus, who helped organise the event. All of it. Yeah, the work who did the pre kind of, the day. Yeah, yeah organising it, including um, a venue change at the last minute due to. Weird yes, reasons. we had so a he last did, minute. He did a great job. We had a last minute um, venue change as well, but the yeah. the replacement venue was uh, was fine. It was big and well yeah. lit, which is good. I like that. And uh, yeah, it was spacious. Yeah, it was a lovely yeah. venue actually, man. It was, yeah, had a see cafe the, downstairs. Yeah, it was yeah. in a gym. Which yeah. is funny because Netrunner players don't have a lot of people to go yeah, to gyms. Yeah, we had this really funny moment where we turned up. <laughs> it was snowing, and there's loads of people in like lycra and like, coloured and like headbands on, and then um, there was a bunch of people in beanies having a cigarette outside. Yeah. And we're like, oh, they're Netrunner players. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it just looked like proper layabouts. It's funny. Yes, um, but it was a good tournament. It was a good yeah, day. And uh, Newcastle won, and so they earned the right to yeah, so we'll host the next one. Yeah. I don't know when it will be. Yep. Later this year, sometime. So, yeah, yeah. Six, roughly once every half year. Yeah, but it was good. It was an interesting format. Um, we there was some discussion beforehand about if it should be king of server style where the team line up and play yeah, opposite. Yeah, well, there, there was. I think we both liked the idea of that. Yeah, we, um, we, there was the the south wanted that to happen. The north had their reasons. They just stuck, not for yeah. doing it. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I I'm just like try out all the formats because new format. Everyone's trying it out. Yeah. I, I just I've only ever heard good things about the King of Service format. So. But they stuck to the old format. Quince National format, yeah. which is where you have four separate pods. Uh, it just meant it had this weird thing where you would uh, meet up with your teammates after each round and chat, but you didn't feel like you you're just felt like yeah. yeah, you just felt like you were at a tournament and they were there too. Yeah, the um, other weird yeah. thing it does is it means you play five rounds scores. of Swiss and essentially a thirteen player. Yeah, it was fourteen, but yeah, fourteen player Swiss, Swiss which is just like nuts. It's quite um, yeah. for pairings. Like Swiss doesn't really work. Yeah, it's also, yeah. And although um, when the servers does okay. Swiss anyway, but then the, the internal Swiss within the pod helps yeah. that a bit anyway. It's, yeah. Um, yeah, but anyway, it was a good tournament. It was great fun. Actually. Yeah, it was and, great, and um, it was great to me. All the yeah, we went we went out for dinner afterwards and, and the night before. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was great. Um, and it's good. So c- congratulations to the Edinburgh boys for putting on a very good show. Um, yeah. Next up. Next up. Um, we've, we've got, got up. Yeah, almost. We're almost. So we've. So we're almost we're into, caught up to like we're into store champ season, store and champ we're going to see the Reading Store Championship, our very own home store championship, um, which I'm looking forward to because it's yeah, quite good. Yeah, it was good. It was good. We had like 52 players at our home store champs. Which yeah, we had 52. Good. Yeah, I was really happy with that. It's a very good turnout. Um, yeah. Uh, so it's very good, and we'll talk more about that. So yeah, we don't need to go on too, too much about that. Um, yeah. So uh, that's it. Edinburgh was fun. So, view, I'd like to remind you, if you want to watch any more of our videos, you can find them at the website near Reading.co.uk, and you can find us on Facebook and on Twitter. You can also find us on Patreon if you want to support the channel. Joey, thank you for helping me commentate on this tournament all these years. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.